how to set up a one-click upsell or one-click downsell with Kartra. Hey guys, Simon Crack from Dead Call Apps, and in this video, I want to show you how to easily set up a one-click upsell or one-click downsell inside of Kartra. Now, it's actually something I've been doing wrong. Uh, I'm not embarrassed to say. Um, I didn't realize that you could have a seamless one-click upsell without having a pop-up form. So my one-click upsells are actually two-click because once they've bought the main product, um, I had a button for my upsell and someone clicked on it and it showed up a form. And then they hit pay and then they'd, it'd go through. So now I've actually figured out that I didn't need to do that. And I'm going to show you guys. So let me, first of all, show you the funnel that I've got. So basically, I've got a book ebook sales page, okay? So it's, that's the main sales page. Then a button on the main sales page to take you to a full checkout page. I've got a bump offer on there as well, which is basically just like an additional uh, product that someone can say, click, yes, I want. Um, I then, it then takes you to the one-click upsell page. And if they click, yes, they want it, I then take them to a second upsell. Now you don't have to do that. You can obviously just have a one click upsell and then that could just take them straight to the thank you page. But I've got two upsells here. If they don't want to take the one click upsell and they say no, then I have a downsell, which is generally, usually, and in this case, a lesser price product. And if they say yes or no to that, then they, take, they go straight to the thank you page. So this is my funnel that I'm using and like I say you can make it less complicated um, if you just want one a one upsell one click upsell um, but I found that this for me converts really well so let me show you how to set it up now I found to think about setting this up in Kartra I found the easiest thing for me to kind of work out is one page links to another page links to another page and that's really what you need to worry about um, you know that your buy page connects to say your cart and then your cart then takes you to your one click upsell so let me show you how I've got this set up so we'll go to my ebook sales page okay so Okay, so this is the sales page. So for the uh, magic ebook. So if someone says yes, they want to buy that. Then that links basically just links to a checkout page. So this is a, a separate page that I've set up, just written the information for the product, and then entered the uh, put the cart on the right hand side. Um, Now, how to set up a product, I've got a different video on YouTube to you know, take you through to the steps. Um, so if you just click there, you'll be able to find it. So I'm not gonna explain how to set up products in Kartra, but let's just say you've set up your main product, which is, in my case, the ebook. And then you've added your upsell products in here which is just a case of clicking plus you know help oh, it's an upsell or downsell yes it's that one you want to enter your name you select the funnel that it belongs to so in this case the ebook funnel and away you go so i've already got these set up so if someone buys my magic ebook i'm gonna want to see if they want to upgrade to elite x membership which is basically a membership site okay which they can log in and learn magic tricks so there's a couple of things you need to do when you're setting up this product to ensure that you're going to get a full seamless one click upsell. So let's click to edit this product and I'll show you the main thing you want to be looking for. So you go through and obviously add your pricing, 
your contents. Like I say, I've got a, another video that sh shows you in depth how to set up products. But the checkout is the main thing. So we go to checkout, and what you want to do is you want to make sure the express checkout, under express checkout, you've got yes, activate straight through payments. Now, I had this checked before, like I say, but there's something else that I didn't do, which I should have done to make it fully seamlessly one click upsell. So activate straight through payments, yep, that's that's selected. Now obviously you only really want to do that on your upsell products. Um, on your main product, you'd, you'd have the full checkout uh, page typically. So yes, activate straight through payments is saved. So that's the main thing there. Then what I want to do is go back to the page that I've created for the upsell. Okay, so this is my upsell. So as you can see, there's a video that someone can watch um, and there's a big button here that says yes I want to join Elite X membership and there's a no thanks I'll miss out and you can depends on what you want you can just have a video sales letter but I've got it leading into a long form sales letter as well um, so for this after um, they've bought the ebook your thank you page so when you set up your product for your initial product your thank you page would be this um, you want to connect it to this first upsell. Yeah, so instead of sending them to a thank you page, you send them straight to this upsell. And then when you add this button in here, you want to edit, click edit, link, uh, click, select pop a product checkout. And then down here, this is what I did wrong. Um, I used to have use an overlay pop-up form checked, okay, so, so when someone hit that button, a lit, admittedly a little tiny form came up, up which was pre-filled with their info from the previous purchase, right, and all they had to do was click, yes, they want to buy it, but that's two clicks, right, so you want to have it selected as use the default Kartra checkout page, and in that, when you do that, that bypasses in the background, um, and it takes you straight to the, it, you know, charges their card and then puts them onto the next page that you want them to go to. So that's the main thing you want to have checked here. And then, so if you want to have a downsell, this is where you'd link to your downsell. So they view this offer, they don't want it. You obviously want to link this button here the no thank you to your downsell if you have one okay so let's go to show you my downsell So someone clicks no on the upsell, then they come to this uh, video for a downsell, which is, like I say, um, membership, but a slightly lesser value, um, and you get less stuff. So if they click on this, again, it will process a one-click upsell, or they can click no thank you, and then that just links to the thank you page. So I find it helps to you know, draw out what you want your upsell to look like and then you can then and um, what you want your funnel to look like and then you can then easily think right okay I need to link my book sales page to my checkout page and then the product that you set up needs to have a thank you page which then click, uh, connects to the one click upsell obviously if you haven't got any upsells downsells then as soon as they you set up the product for the main page 
and it asks you for the thank you page, then you just you can enter the actual thank you page, right? But this is basically um, you're sort of adding in a few steps, a few pages before that. So the book sales page, um, the thank you page, then becomes a one click up sell. So let's show you it in action. So let me go to my products. And I'll show you the ebook funnel now. Um, this is handy to have a, a test mode here. So if you click this button, this will turn it into test mode so you can then test your purchase. Um, so we're going to do that now. And I'm going to try and be quite swift about it because I do have some Facebook ads running. So let's do a new private window. And I'm just doing that so it doesn't have any of my um, info. Uh, pre-populated which might you know mess up my testing so let's go to my ebook sales page right so now, now I'm ready I'm going to flip this into test mode and we're going to test out the upsell so someone clicks send me the book then I've connected that to the checkout page, okay? So that then someone clicks continue, enter their info, and submit payment. Now this takes you straight to the first upsell okay so if someone says no I'll show you what that's gonna take them to that would take them to my Pro X downsell okay and again if they click no that's gonna take them to my thank you page but let's just say someone lands on this page and they say yes they want to join Elite X now this is the one click upsell happening right now in the background, it's take, it's charging their card right, and now this is dropping them onto my second upsell. Now you could just drop them straight to their thank you page, okay? But this is obviously my second upsell. So if someone's just bought that one, then again, if they say no, they're going to be taken to the thank you page. But they can click to say yes. This will be my second upsell going through. One click upsell going through now. Then they get taken to the thank you page. Now, one thing that I figured out um, is initially for my ebook product, I didn't ask for shipping details. Because I figured people don't need to enter the info, right? Because it's an ebook and it's going to be delivered digitally. However, that then made my last one click upsell not be a one click upsell. Um, it took you to the order form because I hadn't actually asked for the um, buyer's um, e uh, mailing address, which I obviously I need for my second up um, one click upsell. Because my second one click upsell is actually like a, a physical mail pop product. So obviously, Kartra. Um, needs to get the information for their billing. So what I did is I went back in and just changed my um, just changed the uh, checkout to ask for billing information um, mailing address. I just clicked on address, see and postcode, and that fixed the issue for me. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, please like and subscribe. And if um, you check underneath, there's a link below to get a $1 trial of Kartra for two weeks. Now, if you were to click on my affiliate link, um, what I'll do is once you've clicked on it and signed up, um, I'll get notified and then I will send you two of my best converting funnels for free. Um, I'll send them straight to your Kartra account with training and um, you can change them about for your own products. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.